Hi, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. I hope you're well, and if you have time today, I would love if you journal with me. Today I am working on book, text, leaves, and flowers. <laughs> I've already made some. I have a little pile on the left-hand side, and they were really fun to do, so I'm going to do another one or two today. So grab your cup of whatever you love, <laughs> your journaling supplies, and I hope if you have some time, you can journal along too. I made this little list of book page art ideas, and I'm working in my altered book junk journal. I will leave the uh, link to, the, to how I made this in the description box below. And what I've done already is very simple but fun. Play around with making some leaves and flowers out of the old book pages. So today is all about book page ephemera. <laughs> I think this is a helpful tip for any journaler, but I know as I work in junk journaling, I have lots and lots of book pages left over, and I thought the simple idea today would be a lot of fun. Maybe you've already done it before, but leaves, stems, little flower petals, I think would be really nice to add to these book pages along the way, and I'm going to just add them to my paper pile <laughs> that I love to keep when I work in a journal. So here we go. I think right now what I'm gonna make is a sunflower. I've grabbed a lid. There we go. <laughs> I've grabbed a lid. This is my modeling paste lid. I thought it was a good size. And I'm gonna work on almost a full page for this one gonna set up the uh, petals and get some lines in there. There's a bit of a close-up to help me draw somewhat symmetrical petals. This looks a bit like a, a sunshine. <laughs> and it's probably the biggest one I've made so far. The other ones on the left-hand side were from the hinged pages where if you saw my earlier video, or I can just simply explain, I saved two book pages in the altered book and then I ripped out two to make a hinge. And in the hinges themselves, I glued in other kinds of papers to add variety to the journal so it had more of that junk journal feel with oh I don't know coloring book pages and music pages on the right hand side I have a ledger page and I did that all the way through the journal and so I have a lot of leftover book pages that I can work on. And now I'm just going around. This is very relaxing, by the way. <laughs> if you haven't tried this before, I highly recommend it. Going around and just putting, sketching the petals in, and I have the, the basic shape. And I thought for this, I would cut these out I think they would make good, good bits and pieces for collages, or I really could see them as pockets and tuck spots. So how is your journaling going? Are you working in a junk journal? Are you doing any challenges? I am kind of waiting in the wings for the next challenge. I really enjoyed Junk Journal January. That was a lot of fun. And then at the beginning of, well, not really the beginning, I guess sort of mid-February, I don't know. <laughs> I made this altered book junk journal as the next journal I wanted to work in. And I also do have a Hobonichi Day Free 
that I do, oops, sorry, bumped the camera there, that I do a week in review in. So I do have two current journals I'm working in. And lately I've been sharing more of this altered book junk journal because it's new and I really want to get the project going. There we are. But yeah, I, I'm not sure which challenge. I, I've seen a couple going on on YouTube that I want to hop in on. I think I may wait till March, but I don't know about you. Are you a person that likes a good challenge? I feel the prompts always make me think in a different way. And in my journaling, I love experimenting. So I do have my eye on on a new challenge. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear about it because I've I've seen a couple and I'm not sure what direction to go in yet. Now I am using my Micron to outline the petals. Again, I personally find this very relaxing. <laughs> it's very repetitive. I love, I love pattern drawing and botanicals and all that sort of thing. And I think that's, that's gonna work. <laughs> we have a sunflower shape. And again, I wanna keep this really simple to use in future journaling sessions. I'm just cleaning up some of the pencil lines there. And I could imagine this as even a sunflower pocket on a page. I am trying to journal a little bit more in this altered book junk journal in what journalers often call flat journaling, which means not a lot of pockets and pullouts. So this could be a simple pocket, I think. <laughs> Although it is a little large, so hopefully it will fit on a page. Another thing is I was using the Micron, as you just saw a moment ago. I tend not to use Sharpies and things, especially on very thin pages. I think if you used a Sharpie, it would bleed through. So just check your supplies, swatch them out when you work on book pages because you don't, you don't want that ink bleed. All right, I'm just doing a little note to self, <laughs> checking on my book page art list if there's anything else I wanna do. I love this little list. It, it just helps me have stuff, something to refer to and now I'm doing, <laughs> sounds sort of fancy, I don't know, text on text, which really means I'm going to write over the text on the book page. So obviously nothing fancy at all, but I really like the look of it. There's something really, really sweet about it. And I'm going to go in a half circle shape for the center of the flower on the top. And then where it meets in the middle, I'm gonna do the same thing. I always write in my journals, no matter what style they are, this is a sentiment about spring. <laughs> I'm in the winter season currently and spring is around the corner for us and I have to say I'm ready. Maybe that's why I continue to do so many flowers and leaves in my journals right now. <laughs> All right, very simple, but fun to do, using up those book pages. Flowers and leaves. So yeah, I have a nice little pile started that I will add to my journal papers. And I will use those in a future session. So I hope this gave you an idea or maybe you've done this before, but I think it's fun to revisit ideas. I know I always appreciate that. Things that I haven't done in a while, I circle back to. 
And I'll just catch you up a tiny bit. If you saw my earlier video, I drew a key on the right hand side and I've added this image of a door and an old fashioned typewriter to the left hand side. Smush some paint around the edges. I think I am gonna use more acrylic paints in this journal. And then a lot of writing. I like to write in multiple directions. And more painterly pages to think about. <laughs> Here's a close-up of the book page ephemera and the door. Thank you to all subscribers. I really appreciate you. And thanks to everyone for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate you watching.